trying something a little bit different today. So just playing around with the, the focus on this because it's not an autofocus like my phone was. This is just being shot on my Canon Rebel T7 that I've been ha that I've had. Um, I usually mainly use it for photography, but seeing as the cell phone doesn't really have any more space for the vlog, figured why not give this a try. This is gonna work out. I feel like we're gonna do pretty good things with this. It's kind of a weird rig, but I feel like this is this is definitely gonna work. Alright girls. See you later. So I think the one thing that I'm learning is that in order to do something like this and be you know successful at it you have to have good friends around you you have to be able to decipher who's there for you and who's there to try and get something from you so yeah get yourself some good friends So it's the end of the work day, currently 5.30, and I'm gonna go home. I forgot to pack gym shorts. So I'm thinking today I'm actually work out from home. I'm, I might bust out the tension, or not the tension. I might bust out the bands and my kettlebell and just get a little workout in at home. I think that's, I think that's gonna be the plan. Might do a, full body thing at home. Don't necessarily feel like going to the gym today. I'm really hoping that this this looks good, that this recording is going through. I hope you can hear me. Whoa, see? But I also, this is giving me the itch to buy a vlog camera. It's making me really, really consider getting like a Sony ZV, or a Sony ZV-1, or um, maybe a so Sony ZV-E10. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the best camera out there is to get. Um, I might get the Sony ZV-1F. It has some less, it has less features than the Sony EV-1, but I don't really know if I need those features. So we'll see. Uh, yeah, time to go home. I think something that's kind of interesting that I came across is I always knew that sleep is an important part towards anything, you know, especially like weight loss related and things like that. Um, I know that it's important. I just didn't know how important sleep can be. I was reading this article. Now, I used to think that I, I, I'm pretty good when it comes to my sleeping, but lately I've been getting under six hours, like maybe five the past couple nights. I've been up really late editing and things like that. And something that it says here is that sleep that piles up 
when you get less than six to seven hours of sleep. The CDC estimates that one third of Americans are in sleep debt every night. And many don't mind because they think longer weekend sleep offsets poor weekday sleep. But I'm learning that that's not the case. So it says that research suggests that for every one hour of sleep debt, you need at least four straight nights of seven to nine hours of sleep to recover fully. Four nights to recover for every one hour. So if I'm only getting five hours, that's two hours of sleep debt. That's eight days of straight seven to nine hours sleep just to recover from one night of bad sleep. Kind of crazy. Makes me wonder if uh, all these late nights that I'm putting in um, to try my side hustle, which is editing and this vlog and things like that, if it's, it's truly worth the effort. I think it is, but I think I might need to let something else go. We'll figure it out.